<clears throat> All right, let's go to page 14 and 15 called Binomial Theorem. And I'm not going to lie to you, this is probably the toughest, I think, toughest two pages in this pace. Um, so get your thinking cap on. And you might look at this and say, Mr. Anger, that does not look easy. You see this uh, formula right here in this box. Um, and again, that's not something to memorize. Write that down on a 3x5 card and study it while you do the problems, but then hold on to that and use it when you do the checkup and self-test and paste test, all right? This is not something you need for, uh, for, to use forever and ever and ever. This is a formula. Formulas are not necessarily shortcuts. And it may seem like there's got to be an easier way to do this. But one of the purposes in learning this is to see that if something can be put into a formula, then there, there could be a way to write a computer program, for instance, that could then solve anything you plug in. And, and so formulas are really powerful and really important. Um, if you ever go on and learn like Excel spreadsheets, there's a lot of power, a lot of formulas in there and uh, engineers use a lot of formulas. So we're gonna take this, this is the formula right here. Okay, I copied it down. And I want you to notice something here. We're gonna first take whatever the first term is of this parentheses, and then this power here, the n power. Whatever that is, that, just the first term all by itself, is the first term in our answer. So in this example, I have x minus 2y to the fifth power, okay? So first I start with x to the fifth. Now when I get all the way to the end, I'm going to have whatever this n power is on b. So b to the n power, and that's it. So we start with a to the n power, we end with b by itself to the n power. So I kind of want you to notice that little pattern there, okay? Um, <clears throat> then notice with the x, so this first term, we start with to the fifth power, and then we're going to go down one power from that, so n minus 1 to the fourth power. In the next term, which is this, the x is going to be to the n minus 2 power, to the third power. If you continue, you see that it becomes x squared, x to the 1, and then in the last term, the x is actually to the 0 power, which means it's gone. Okay, notice what's happening with the b power, the power on this b term. Now in this case, we're going to take negative 2y. And first of all, we're going to raise it to just the 1 power. So we have negative 2y to the 1 power. Then we're going to take negative 2y to the second power, negative 2y to the third power, negative 2y to the fourth power, and then finally negative two y to the fifth power. So this first term, the exponent starts with five and it's working its way down. Five, four, three, two, one. The second one doesn't start in the first term, but starting here is to the first power, second power, third power, fourth power, fifth power, okay? Do you see the pattern? So that power is increasing and for the x for the first term it's decreasing now we're not done the last part of this is we're going to apply the combination rule okay to figure out what the coefficient is so the way we do that as you recall is we're going to take five factorial here and we're going to divide by the r factorial, so this would be like 1 factorial, which we don't really need. And then we do the 5 minus 1, which is 4 factorial. Here I'm going to do 5 factorial on the top, but divide by 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 is 3, so 3 factorial. Here I'm going to have 5 factorial on the top, the bottom is going to be 3 factorial, and then 5 minus 3 is 2 factorial. This becomes 5 factorial over 4 factorial, and then 5 minus 4 is just 1, okay? And then I don't need it for the last one. Now let's figure out what these numbers are here first. So 5 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 
So the four on cancels out, so all I'm left with is five. Let's see what happens here. Five, four, three, two, one, divided by three, two, one, and two, one. So those cancel, this cancels against this. So this whole thing here becomes 10. All right, now I'm gonna show you something here. Are you ready? And this will happen every time. This one is the same as this. It's just that the order has changed. So this becomes 10. And then this one back here is the same as this one. So this becomes five, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the five up here above the C, 10 up here, 10 up here, put the five up here. That way I can erase how we found it. And now let's just apply a little bit of algebra one to finish putting this together. So we'll leave the x to the fifth out front. This whole thing becomes five, but I'm multiplying it times x squared and times negative two y to the one. So I have to actually multiply the negative two times five. So I get negative 10 x to the fourth y to the one. All right, now let's see, what does this become? Negative two y squared would become four y squared. So I'm gonna multiply now the 10 times this, times this, so plus 40 x to the third y squared. See how the exponent's going down here? Here the exponent is going up, it's from one, now it's two, all right? Same thing's gonna happen here. This is gonna become um, negative two times three is negative eight y to the third. And so I'm gonna multiply 10 times that. So we'll, we'll say this is minus 80 x squared y to the third. So that's what I expect. The y is increasing, x is decreasing. Let's do this one now. Two times two times two times two is 16. 16 times five is 80. So plus 80 x y to the fourth and then we'll do the last term there and that is going to be minus 32 y to the fifth. All right, so let's go back and look at our exponents have gone down, x to the fifth, x to the fourth, x to the third, squared, x to the one, no x. The y's have increased, two, three, four, five. And 5, 40, 80, 80, negative 32, yay! I always like it when the answer I helped you get actually matches the score key, woohoo! All right, so I chose, I think, one of the hardest ones on the page to kind of do with you, okay? So you make sure you see all those steps and how we got each of those steps. And then I think the rest of the page, I'm not gonna say it's easy, but they're easier than this one, okay? This is, the, I think, one of the toughest ones because we had a negative in there and we had a number in there. So number three is also kind of challenging in your homework. But then I think you'll find one, four, and five to be pretty easy. And is that all they gave us? They only gave us five problems of that type, okay? You may turn off the video and go do those problems, show your work, okay? And then when you go back and check your work, thankfully the answer key does have a solution guide so you can see all the steps that should be there.